So, I realize it's been a while since I have read you guys anything, um, but that doesn't mean I haven't been reading. I've been reading a ton of shit. One thing in particular I've read several fucking times because it's mind-fucking me. Uh, it's taken a little bit out of me, like, I've really had to fucking come to terms with the fact that I don't know everything. Fine, there I said it. Fuck you. Okay, so, um, what I have been, uh, uh reading besides what I'm reading, <laughs> because, you know, everybody has a book, and then another book they're reading, and then a toilet book, right? You guys all have a toilet book, right? That's the book that you can't stop reading, but it's a piece of fucking shit, so you put it on the back of the toilet, and you read it when you take a shit, right? The shit book? You guys have that. Me? Just me? Alright? Cool. Whatever. Fine. What the fuck ever? Uh, I will someday read you a shit book, and you guys, well, not read it to you, but I'll go ahead and, like, show you what I mean by a shit book. I can't fucking read a book and stop reading it. I've read some really dumb fucking shit fucking books because I can't stop reading the shit out of them. So anyway, what I have been um, doing is going through my uh, dolly collection, uh, Salvador Dolly, um, and some of my... Uh, pictures um, because I'm deciding what exactly it is that I want to do with them. Um, one uh, book, Diary of a Madman. You'll think that's funny if you know what I'm fucking talking about. Um, is honestly, honest to God, that's what like everybody should fucking read is the Diary of a Genius because that's like just straight up journal. And someday I will publish a straight up journal for you guys, and it'll be fucking funny as shit. Actually, it won't. I lie to my journal. I don't say, I don't say, I, I lie to that shit. If somebody hit on me, I'll make it out like they proposed to me and shit because I eventually figure if somebody's gonna pick this shit up and read it, it's gonna be fucking entertaining. Anyway, so, uh, back to my original point. Um, I'm reading Hidden Faces. It's Salvador Dali's, um, only novel, besides the fact that he has written other things, but whatever. It's his only novel. Um, cover looks like this. Uh, back looks like this. The reason I like Salvador Dali so much is because he's a fucking egomaniac, and I can identify with that. Uh, that was fun. Oh, it's happening again. I've been here with you guys the whole fucking day. Like, all day I've been right here with you guys. If the cops ask, just say, I've been right here with you guys. Deal? Deal. Okay, so, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, read you some of this and tell you why I'm into Dali. Uh, like I said, he's an ego fucking maniac. Seriously, whole day I've been with you guys. I swear to God, I didn't rob anybody. That was the ambulance. But, I hope they're not coming here. Uh, like I said, all day. I think it's funny how ambulances, like, race each other. So, like, they're kind of like the lawyer chaser of, of the, like, accidents. Because they, like... You know, ambulances all try to get there first so they can get their fucking money. Whatever. Salvador Dali, uh, egomaniac, uh, in his paintings, portrayed himself as Jesus, portrayed Gala as the Mother Mary. Like, he has this inflated opinion of himself. And if you watch me, you know that I, too, have a inflated opinion of myself. <laughs> so, you'll enjoy it, too. If for nothing else, then a fucking laugh. What I'm going to read you is the author's forward, um, and I'm actually only going to read a part of it. And then I'm going to read you the dedication, because I find that, uh, interesting as well. So, let me just get started. Authors forward. Sooner or later, everyone is bound to come to me. Some untouched by my painting, concerned that I draw like Leonardo. Others who quarrel with my aesthetics agree in considering my autobiography one of the human documents of the period. Still, others questioning the authenticity of my secret life have discovered in me literary gifts superior to the skill which I reveal in my pictures and to what they call the mystification of my confessions. But as far back as 1922, the great poet Garcia Lorca had predicted that I was destined for literary um, career and had suggested that my future lay precisely in the pure novel. Also, those who detest my painting, my drawings, my literature, my jewels, my surrealist objects, etc., etc., pro proclaim that I do have a unique gift for theater, and that my last setting was one of the most exciting that had ever been seen on the Metropolitan stage. Thus, 
It is difficult to avoid coming under my sway in one way or another. Pompous. Love it. By the way, uh, you this is on YouTube. I don't know what, exactly what it's called. You can find it on YouTube. It's like the first video that he ever made. The first um, movie he ever made. It's a silent. It's really fucking weird. But I recommend you go like try to find it. Check it out. It's pretty cool. And now I'm going to read the dedication. I dedicate this novel to Gala, who was constantly by my side while I was writing it, who was the good fairy of my equilibrium, who banished the salamanders of my doubts and strengthened the lions of my certainties, to Gala, who by her nobility of soul has inspired me and served as a mirror reflecting the purest geome geometries of the aesthetic and emotions that has guided my work. Um... I can't get over how much I fucking love Dolly. Not only do I really actually enjoy his artwork, um, uh, I semi, like, if I were to, I do charcoal drawings, and what I would put myself under would, uh, absolutely be fucking copying him. But not, like, his shit, but, like, just weird fucking shit like that. Um, anyways, this book is fucking great, because the whole time he's talking about how fucking fantastic he is. And... I just think everybody should know how fantastic people are, and if only by their own admission. Um, I also, the, red, the reason I read you the dedication is just because I wanted you to see how, like, he sincerely, like, I mean, he portrays Gala to be this, like, goddess among goddesses, and while she was a, uh, she must have been a fucking great fucking person to put up with his bullshit, um, she wasn't, like, a classic beauty or anything. Uh, which I find awesome. That's why I like Janis Joplin, because she wasn't a classic beauty, but she's fucking goddess gorgeous. Um, anyway, so I, I really dig this book. Uh, I am done reading it, um, but I think that you should check it out. If you have any suggestions of what you think I should read if I haven't read it, like, I totally will. Uh, like, even if I have to toilet it, because I can't pick up a book and read it and stop reading it. I have a, some sort of addiction. So anyway, Salvador Dali's Hidden Faces, his only novel, uh, I think I got it for like five bucks on Amazon, or $14.99 at Half Price Bookstore, whatevs. Uh, I spent $80 on one of his painting books before, so uh, apparently, I've invested a lot in Dolly. I like him, I dig him, uh, I don't mind his fucking, uh, you know, his fucking... <laughs> Uh, superiority complex or complex I don't, I don't, I don't mind it at all I, I I find it amusing hopefully you find it amusing too I suggest you check out the book like I said if you guys have anything that you think uh, I should check out fucking let me know because I will uh, I love reading and um, yeah uh, I will when I figure out this fucking book when I wrap my fucking head around it uh, I'll tell you what I did get done reading um, the reason I'm hesitant to do so is because it's an author that I read, uh, quite a bit of, and I don't want to do, like, solely, like, one genre of reading because I like to read lots of stuff, but I am in a little phase right now, so, uh, and I'm going to tell you about this book because it's, wow, you know, wow, blah, okay, so, um, happy fucking Taco Tuesday, uh, I will see you soon, uh, with the RNC presidential 2016 nominee soon to come.